Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is part two. If you missed part one, I will link to it down below. It went up yesterday, and as per your request, I split it into two 20-ish minute vlogs instead of one big one. So here we are with part two, but if you missed uh, the first one, honestly, I can't remember what happens in it now that I'm trying to think about it. Go to the gym with me, talking about trying to lose weight, also going out to eat a bunch, ironically. I don't know you'll have to check it out i can't remember right now i leave for vacation tomorrow my brain is fried but this is a super fun one as well uh spending a little time with my boyfriend getting my eyebrows threaded for the first time so i took you along for that and then i'm also heading to the shoppers drug mart office to do an instagram live for a very very special launch that is very very near and dear to my heart look who it is hi we just had such a good cuddle because i'm leaving tomorrow and i'm so sad i'm heading to antigua tomorrow morning i'm gonna miss the baby and she doesn't even know that I'm going. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the vlog. So we're testing out a new car sharing service tonight. And we're getting a Chevy, Chevy Volt, which is an electric car. Wow, you need to unplug it. So we're using Enterprise car share. And in the evenings after 6.30, it's 30 bucks to rent a car. So I need to go buy luggage and we need to get maybe some snorkeling stuff for our trip. And then we might grab some dinner. Cool. cool. The future. We're saving Earth by driving this car. We are right? saving the Earth by not owning a car in the first place and then only getting one when we need one. Meep. Oh. There we go. Cool. I'm wearing one of the new Revlon um, kind of cushion lipsticks. I'll have it linked down below. I can't remember the shade. I think it's called Bury It. But we just saw a little squirrel in the middle of the road on a really busy street. And we were going to chase him to the park to make sure he got home safe, but yeah. um, he climbed a big pole, so hopefully he's okay. We're he's just standing there working. watching. <laughs> Everybody was like passing by. We're just standing there looking at this electric pole for like five, like, no, no, five minutes. Like two minutes. Ooh. Ooh. So hopefully he got home safe. Car, drive us to Walmart. <laughs> I demand you to drive us to Walmart right away. Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, tell the car to take us to Walmart. <laughs> this guy has a water bottle thing and he's catching the rain to drink it. Genius. He's living in 2020. The good news is I found luggage and I at Winners and I found um, spandex biker shorts which i've been trying to find for all week um at walmart bad news is we can't turn on the car we can't figure it out it was my boyfriend's idea to get this electric car might i add it's like i would just like to also have a key in addition to the kind of snazzy way that you get into the car it's not turning on so we're just stuck in the walmart um parking garage right now he's out there reading the manual Good times. It's on. Now it's on because I did this. Ah. I thought I figured it out. <laughs> you press the radio on. Well, I turned <laughs> wow. I turned the radio on, the car was on. So what you just needed to re You need to like retap. Retap, yeah. Stuck in a parking garage. Oh. No internet. That was interesting. Where right now? Yeah, where right now? Let's go celebrate. That we managed to figure this one out. With what? Uh, we can go to Borgiros if you want. You frame that like it's a like a question. <laughs> when I know it's what you want to eat. Why do you want to eat? I don't know. Do you want gyros maybe? Do you want gyros? I don't know. I just like gyros. It's uh, you know proven food. Tastes delicious. It's Greek. So we're supporting Greek economy. No pros, like no cons. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay, ready? <laughs> I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, okay? We can try one of those places like in Scarborough that you mentioned, those like taco or something, right? Um, yeah, there was a few in Markham and Scarborough. Down. I don't know if it's too late, it's like 8 p.m. now. 8 p.m.? Yeah. How old are we? Well, I don't know. It's Canada. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the restaurant being open, not being, not yeah. it's late for us being out. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't have any internet at the moment. 
what, one of the Tex-Mex places? Can you eat queso yet? If you know. can't eat queso, he had a bad queso experience. Yeah. If you can't eat queso, where, there's no point going. It is only Mexican food? Yeah, it's Tex-Mex. Anything else? Well, you find something else too. Well, I had other things on my list that were like Asian. And I think an Indian. Yeah. You don't want that, you just want gyro. I want gyros. I'm not crazy for gyros. I just wanna go somewhere, I guess, while we have a car. I now. know, I'm just saying that's where we always go. You know? Yeah, but it's good, you can't say it's good. And we tried a bunch And of it's probably things. the lowest calorie option. Yeah, exactly. He said Serbia! Come on, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no, turn it down. Look, it's Mary Brown's for all my Newfoundlanders. I think this is the only Mary Brown's in Toronto. It's probably like an hour by bus away from our house, so we don't ever go there. I went there once, but so good. dinner at Massini's which is a uh, Greek place here in Toronto on the Danforth. It's what probably your favorite restaurant. Yeah I would say. Best Greek food in town perhaps. We've never really had it anywhere else. Yeah. But it's super cheap. Um, normally when we come here for dinner it's like under 30 bucks for both of us. Probably sometimes under 20 uh, depending how much food we get but um, there's a lot of eating out bad lighting. There's a lot of eating out in this vlog. I actually have been trying to lose weight I swear. <laughs> But um, let's say I was intermittent fasting today, AKA I didn't have breakfast, but that triggers a lot of people. So let's say I was intermittent fasting and um, I've got a lot of calories left. So I'm still not gonna go like completely off kilter here. And it's actually like pretty, what do you call it? Like clean, it, like like not like clean, like, but you know, you know there's not a whole oh. bunch of extra stuff in there. Like they're just Greek people making like good Greek food. And it's not like any weird minimally stuff. Minimally processed. Yeah, minimally processed. You pretty much know what you're getting. It's just like potatoes, feta, tzatziki, you know, all that good stuff. So um, yeah, it's really, really good. So if you ever come to Toronto or if you live in Toronto, highly, highly recommend um, you check out Missini's. Good morning guys, I am just getting ready to head out the door. Cheers, gotta chug this espresso first. I have um, an eyebrow appointment in like a half hour. I'm heading to a new place called Wax On. They've got locations across Toronto, but my previous eyebrow lady, woman, girl, friend, lover, she um, moved outside the city about three hours. Hi BBs. So I, I honestly haven't had my eyebrows done since I think January and I'm going on vacation so I was like dude hi who's cute anyways I haven't had my brows done in a really long time so I'm gonna try getting them threaded right before vacation we'll see I've never had them threaded but I've always been curious I meant to show you I have a fashion haul coming up and I forgot to show this because it was already in the washer because I've been wearing it so much. It's from Urban Planet or Sirens, I think. And it's like become my house romper and I love it so much. Rue, relax. Um, but I want to show you the luggage I got. So this is what I ended up getting. I got it from Winners and it was $60.79. Oh, she stapled the tag to my receipt. But it was $79, I think. And I really like the color. It kind of reminds me of Essie Bikini Sotini. <laughs> It's like that kind of light, light blue. That's quite nice. And then we also picked up this snorkely thing because we need another snorkel. I had never snorkeled in my life. Whenever I'd been on like beach vacations, it had always been with friends and we like just drank and didn't do anything adventurous. But my boyfriend likes to adventure. So I'm trying to 
also adventure. So I actually really enjoyed snorkeling. Kind of scares me a little bit, but it's really cool to get to see the fish and stuff. And then I also got, I don't know who I am, what's happening to me, but I bought these gloves for working out. <laughs> what are you doing to me? You're doing great. Who are you turning me into? Buying snorkels, buying weightlifting gloves, but um, these were just eight bucks and I find like I'm almost getting like blisters from holding the bar and um, I'm not about the blister life. So I'm gonna try these. They look just so ridiculous and so intense, but anyway. And then I've also been on the hunt for just some biker shorts. So like some long spandex shorts that all the kids are wearing these days partially to wear under dresses, but also just I thought they'd be comfy to wear on vacation. So I got these from Walmart. They were 14 bucks. They only had size small and then I came across a size large. I was like, yes. What are you doing? You're crazy. You look like, um, so wild. Like if anybody was to not know you, they would think, who is this crazy wild kid? You're so, you're so cute. Wow, beautiful. Why are your eyes so gooey? Gross, man. My camera focuses all over the place. coming to you from the end of the week here in the middle of the week because I realized I forgot to kind of tell you about my experience getting my eyebrows threaded but it was a great one it went really really well I was quite nervous and I kind of sat down and she just like got right into it and I was like whoa but it actually wasn't that bad like they um, one of the staff members there was holding the camera thank you um, and because I didn't realize I was gonna have to hold my eye and she was like, I can't believe you're doing so well. Like people are normally like screaming and like crying or at the very least tearing up. And for some reason that did not happen to me. I mean, it wasn't like, it didn't feel great, but I didn't feel like I was super uncomfortable. And I really like the end result. It's been a couple days now, so I'm definitely going to be going back. I'm really excited to have a new eyebrow place to go to and I'm definitely gonna continue threading. So, cause I hadn't had my brows done in about six months. So highly recommend wax on um, if you've never been. It is now Thursday morning. I haven't talked to you in two days. It's been crazy busy two days. On Wednesday, I didn't vlog at all. Basically, between now and the time that I come back, like just after I get back from vacation, I have about seven or eight videos going up. I do three to four videos a week, like Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and then sometimes Saturday if I wanna do like a clothing haul or what I eat in a day. And I stick to that strictly. Like this is my job. 
I'm not gonna go on vacation and just abandon you. At the very least, I would get like two videos up. But anyways, I was able to get everything done and scheduled. So I spent um, all day Wednesday scheduling, updating, um, uploading, description box tags, thumbnails, all that kind of stuff. Hey, baby kitty. And uh, then yesterday I spent all day packing, which you would have seen. I was packing, my friend came over, she was downtown and she was like, I need Wi-Fi. So she came over and hung out for the day because we were actually going out to dinner that evening. We went, um, my oldest friend, we've now known each other for 26 years because I'm 28 and we met when we were two, I think. She's in town. Um, so we went to dinner last night at one of my favorite restaurants and I know I've been eating out. This entire vlog has been me eating out. Hi. Why are you so cute? I'm gonna miss you. Um, but she's actually staying at my house now that we're going out of town because she came into town as soon as we were going out of town. But um, we went to Planta and it's at Bay and Young. And it's a vegan restaurant, but mm, so good. It's also so aesthetically pleasing, like rose gold cutlery. Um, but when we were at dinner, we just split a bunch of things. So we had one of my favorite things there, which is the queso. Somehow it's so delicious. I mean, it doesn't taste exactly like queso. It just tastes like an amazing dip and they make like their own chips. Then we had like this Thai noodle salad, cauliflower tots, another great thing there, and um, one of the pizzas. Their pizzas are so good. Anyways, highly, highly recommend that you go there. Hi. Um, but I'm really glad that she's, it kind of sucks that she's in town when I'm leaving, but it's also kind of good because we would have only seen each other once or twice anyways. So now she has a place to stay for free and Rue has somebody to cuddle at night. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm heading to Shoppers Drug Mart's offices this morning. I'm so freaking excited. So, um, as I guess you already know now, you probably have seen all of it, but Shoppers Drug Mart, if you're not Canadian, this might make no sense, will make no sense to you, but um, they have kind of relaunched their website to purchase drugstore makeup online. Oh, like I've been asking for this for so long, so it's so exciting. There are some websites that do it, but just to be more readily available to me is so exciting. You'll be able to get your shoppers like optimum points. And I've had such a good experience shopping from their website, like the beauty boutique, um, getting like higher end stuff. They send it in a nice box, you get samples. And um, I remember one time I ordered, then I got an email like a couple weeks later and they're like, we're sorry for the delay, which I did not notice a delay at all. It came like in a regular amount of time and sent me like a 10% off coupon. So I've been really, really happy with ordering from their website. So. I'm excited that there's drugstore makeup on there too. And I'm hoping that, I don't have all the details yet, but I'm hoping that that means then better shade ranges will be available online that they don't stock in store. So at least that is a, a step forward. So I'll get more information today, but I'm heading to their offices because they wanted to do an Instagram live to kind of launch this and they want me to do it. I'm so excited. Like I'm really just trying to represent Canada and talk about, you know, Canadian, like not issues like I'm not a politician but like you know the things that like as a Canadian beauty lover that you go through so I'm so excited that they wanted me to be the the person to help spread the word I'm really nervous though because it is an Instagram live and like I've done them with benefit now twice and they've gone well but it's just scary in a, in a new place and a new audience and it's live but anyways I'm just up and <laughs> showered and uh yeah gotta get ready I'm just back in the door from shoppers actually that's a lie I've been home for about two hours um, I was so hungry so as soon as I got home I actually well I had subway on the way home I haven't had subway in so long but this one close to me and I go there when I'm like desperate for food because I really didn't eat much this morning I'm just trying to hold off and I was like really really nervous so I didn't feel like eating but I got a salad at subway like I got a sub turned into a salad it's 250 more I'm just complaining about this on Twitter but I'm like I'm saving you the bun, and all you're giving me is more iceberg lettuce, which is worthless. And I'm paying $2.50 more, because I wanted to have chips, so instead of having a bun, I subbed out. I had the salad and got the chips. Anyways, that's annoying, but the shopper's thing went really, really well. I'm so excited. Hi. Look how well this this um, CoverGirl lip held up. 
it's one of their new sorry I keep scratching my nose um it's one of those uh, exhibitionist lipsticks in just saying and i put this on i haven't touched it up i put it on at about a 10. it's now 3 30 and i had a salad and chips and a bunch of water so holding up really well i love this shade i think i'm gonna put it in my makeup bag to take with me tomorrow morning but we leave tomorrow morning so i guess i'm going to why is my face so i think i have cat hair i was just cuddling rue and i think i have cat hair all over my face but i think i'm going to leave you here because i need to now edit this vlog and upload it because i'm gonna be in antigua when this goes up so i think i'm gonna leave you here i feel like i had something else to say I guess not. I don't know. I'm going to remember after and be so annoyed. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be vlogging in Antigua and filming some other videos there. So stay tuned for that. And I've got like a makeup bag video coming, a toiletries bag. So um, stay tuned for those videos. And then while I'm in Antigua, I'm going to be filming as well a swimsuit lookbook and uh, testing waterproof makeup videos. So that's going to be lots of fun. Um, but if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.